Hey Miss Gia's class. So this is your science video and I have a fun experiment because I saw that Miss Krista also did a fun experiment. So I wanted to show you guys how to write with invisible ink. Ooh, so you can write secret messages on paper and then you'll see them but only you can only see them if you know how to find the invisible ink. Now this isn't something you need to buy. I'm sure that you have the ingredients to make this experiment in your home. So don't worry, there's nothing that you need to buy. You just need a piece of white paper and you need a secret ingredient. But before I tell you the secret ingredient, we're going to talk about a process that's scientific. So we're going to talk about why this invisible ink does what it does. Okay? Now, to do that, I need to explain to you about oxidation. Oxidation, it's kind of a big word, but it has to do with oxygen. Do you guys remember what oxygen is? Right, it's the gas or the air that we breathe in to our bodies. Okay? So remember, living things, some living things, breathe in oxygen. Plants, on the other hand, they breathe in carbon dioxide. But for us, oxygen is important. So oxidation is what happens when fruit or vegetables also touch oxygen. Now let's go to my kitchen and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean, okay? See you there. Alright guys, so we're going to do our own little experiment to see about oxidation. Or when fruit or something gets exposed to oxygen, which is a gas that is in our atmosphere, it's the air that we breathe, right? When it gets exposed to oxygen, what happens? So I have this apple here, okay, and I'm going to cut it. Now, if you want to do this experiment at home, I need to make sure that you ask a grown-up for help because it's not super safe to use big knives like this. So ask a grown-up to help you cut the apple. And you see here the apple is white, okay? Because we just opened it. It just got exposed to oxygen. Now I'm going to leave it like this on my counter. Right now, the time is, let's see what time is it. I will show you. The time is 12.22 in the afternoon. So we're going to see, I'm going to check back in later tonight and see what color this apple becomes when it gets exposed to oxygen. And that's going to show us what happens in our science experiment, why we're able to see the invisible ink. Okay, so what do you think is going to happen to the apple? What do you think it's going to look like? Make sure to talk about your predictions or the ideas that you have before you watch the rest of the video. Hey Miss Gia's class, it is now 9 o'clock at night and you can see the apple I cut is starting to get brown. Okay, it's not as white as it was and you see the edges here are getting kind of mushy. That is from oxidation. So when the inside part of the apple is exposed to oxygen, then it starts to turn brown, like down here, and it starts to get a little mushy and soft on the edges. So that is what happens with oxidation, and it's perfectly okay to eat the apple when it's like this. All it means is that the apple, little by little, is changing. Okay, but you're, it's fine to eat the apple if it looks like this. In fact, I will probably eat this apple after I'm done filming. Okay, Miss Gia's class. So, now that you know a little bit more about oxidize, oxidation, even I have trouble saying it, oxidation, I'm going to show you how you can use oxidation to write secret messages that start looking like this and end looking like this. So, how do we begin... Well, for this experiment, it's very simple. You're going to need some lemon juice. Now, this is juice from any normal lemon that I got, okay? You can ask a grown-up in your house to help you cut the lemon and squeeze it. Then you just put the juice in a little, a little uh, bowl. And I'm using some Q-tips, like this, to be my paintbrush to paint the message onto the paper. So I'm not going to tell you what the message is that I'm painting, okay? It's going to be a surprise when I show you how to read the messages. 
So I dip my paintbrush. I don't want to make it super, super wet, but it has to be wet enough that it goes through the paper. For example, like that. You see how it makes a nice H? This is going to disappear when it dries, but we have to make sure that there's enough lemon juice or invisible ink that when we do the reveal or when we do the special process, it oxidizes. Okay? That is going to be what changes it so we can see it. So, I'm just every so often putting more lemon juice, just a little bit. You don't want to make the paper too wet because if the paper gets too wet, it will break and then we won't have a message. Okay? But you do want to make sure that you've got enough on there that it changes the color a little bit. It makes it like uh, a little bit gray. Okay, so I wrote my secret message. I'm going over it just to make sure that I get all of the letters nice and clean with enough juice that it's going to work. Okay, now what we have to do is we have to let it dry. So before you give your secret message to someone, you have to make sure that it dries. Because if you give it to them wet, then our trick is not going to work. And they can just read what it says wet on the paper. What you want is that, let's see, where's an example that I did? Like this. You see how you can't really tell what's on my paper? But I'm going to show you how to read it. There's a special trick, but this is very important, Miss Gia's class, and you need to follow these directions. You have to do the next step with a grown-up, okay? Because the next step is going to involve a candle. And candles are not super safe to be playing with alone. So, please do this next step with a grown-up. I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, Miss Gia's class, now it's time to see what happens. Here's my paper. You can kind of see that it might have had something on it, but you can't really read it very well. Here's the magic trick, and this is where the oxidation happens. Because lemon juice, with some heat, oxidizes. It turns brown. Now remember, we're only doing this with a grown-up, right? We need a candle, and very carefully, we're going to put the paper on top. And it has to be kind of close, but this is why you need a grown-up, because you don't want the paper to catch on fire. That would be very bad. So you're just going to move it back and forth so that the lemon juice oxidizes or turns brown. It'll smell a little bit, kind of like toast. Okay. It's going to take a little bit, so you have to be patient. Make sure you have a grown-up helping you. Alright, there we go. We've got our first word. And I see a second word coming. Do you guys see the words showing up with our invisible ink? Just nice and slowly, we're passing it. We're always moving it, that way the paper doesn't burn. But, like I said, you do this with a grown-up. You can even write your mom or dad a message, and then they have to do it, so that way they see what you wrote them. Okay. There is the message that I wrote in invisible ink. Okay. So, knowing what we know now about oxidation, it turns brown because of heat and oxygen. So the lemon juice, when it's mixed with the heat of the candle and oxygen from our atmosphere, the air that we have here, turns brown. So you can see what I wrote. Okay, let me know, guys, if you try this experiment. Make sure you're doing it with a grown-up. And send me pictures, okay? Or videos, too. 
See you soon.